For over a decade, the Blue Ribbon Bacon Festival has become an annual tradition for all things that sizzle, different themes every year. And now the man behind that festival getting into the restaurant and bar business at a special spot for foodies all over the world. On a cold January day at the quiet Iowa State Fairgrounds, Brooks Reynolds has the keys to a kingdom. We are here at the historic Iowa State Fairgrounds in what is now going to be known as J.R. South Pork Ranch. With plans as big as the hat he's wearing for the old Diamond Jacks. Completely gutted. Probably put the, the stage back there, main bar over there, open up stuff over there. When the prime spot became available last year, Brooks was one of 17 bids hoping to move in. And after anxiously awaiting, found out late last year his was selected and officially got the keys a few days ago. To become a part of the Iowa State Fair, it's life changing for me. Um, there's not many establishments here within the grounds of the Iowa State Fair and, and to be one of them, is it, it's a great honor and we're really looking forward to uh, enhancing the already great fair food lineup. I'm still can't believe I got it. He's never been a bar or restaurant owner per se, but he has plenty of big event experience, known as the man who has brought the Blue Ribbon Bacon Festival to Des Moines for the past 13 years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This will have a hint of kind of the, the wackiness that Bacon Fest is and some of that fun stuff. But, you know, again, our, our main focus is the Iowa State Fair and, and having, a, again, a, a very enhanced food hall uh, here within the grounds. There's a lot to do between now and the August fair, which, fingers crossed, will take place this year. So Brooks and his team are hyper-focused, moving forward with vision to turn the old building into something special. You know, we're going to, again, try to do as much as we can to, you know, make this uh, a happening spot. <laughs> well, he knows a thing or two about how to do that. <laughs> Been to a couple of bacon fests in my day. Uh, the new I know bar, what you do at Bacon Fest, Elias. The new bar, uh, the J and the R, state, uh, represents his parents. Uh, they, his family has been involved with the fair since the 1940s. He says his uh, his uncles had a chance to have booths there. He's the the Reynolds family has been involved a number of different ways. The uh -huh. variety uh, booth as well. They're working on a menu. I wanted a sneak peek. I wanted to spill the beans. They're not sure yet because when you associate food and the fair, there is so much. Mm. It's like, how do you come up with something different? And Sabrina and I love trying the new fair foods. I was just thinking <laughs> about that. I wonder if he'll be a participant in the mm. best new fair food competition. Yes. He's got some really good partners that are helping come up with designs for the building, bringing it up to code, and then also the big menu, which they'll unveil at some point. Exciting well, things I'm, to come. I'm, I'm excited about that. He'd go seafood just to mix it up. You know, that's <laughs> not, not a, a seafood. <laughs> On that note, we're going to.